Hey folks, welcome to um, a live stream on my um, gun-related YouTube channel. Um, this is some gun-related content from a uh, German gun nut, um, giving you a little insight on the, um, yeah, the uh, gun culture in uh, Germany. Uh, this is my current sweetheart, my little uh, Hecklon Koch darling. Uh, MR-308, also known as MR-762. Um, I've already introduced this uh, little beauty in a couple of videos. I've actually got a little, let's, let's say, series of videos on this uh, particular uh, rifle. I will be doing similar series of videos for um, some other rifles I have. This one is um, is um, has been a, a big thing for me, so um, it's my first subject. Um, first time you see this on video, here I have um, the optics mounted, and this is my um, my final setup for the optics. I am not a hundred percent sure about the rail placement yet for these. Um, I have taken this um, this rifle out on the range uh, once so far, so not a whole lot of uh, expert. Um, experienced there um, but I've managed to um, zero the um, the holographic site pretty well that went really well I went with a, a good uh, bore sighter um, pre-adjusted the sights and just had to uh, mostly uh, go for windage a little bit it's funny when I um, when I dial these in with a bore sighter at about um, 25 meters I usually um, preset the sights much too high yeah because uh, they're pretty high up and this is a point where the sides are pointing down um, barrels pointing straight and um, the further away you get the further up the sides go and you're not at a point where the bullet drop is starting to affect you I'm, I'm, I'm zeroing these at a at a hundred meters so uh, yeah uh, very pleased with the sides they are great sides to be used with a magnifier um, because they are very fine. The um, the reticle uh, is very fine and um, gives you gives you a great view through the magnifier. Really love it. And um, this is actually the topic for today's video is gonna be the magnifier component. Um, being rather new to this whole. Um, subject um, I have taken a look at a couple of magnifiers and I can basically just talk about the ones that are readily available in Germany um, there is a, a UTG a three times magnifier available that you can get for pretty cheap um, unfortunately I have pretty much only read negative reviews about this one. Um, oh, let me add some light. Sorry, <laughs> hope the light's a bit better now. Forgot to turn on my studio studio lights. This is actually a bench. Like I am sitting at a legit basement dweller workbench. Um, yeah. So the UTG magnifier I didn't even consider, uh, even though it's. Um, I think it's even cheaper in the US. Around here it's uh, it's 90 to 100 euros. Um, but, well, I've only heard bad things about it. All the reviews gave it um, very bad marks, so I didn't even want to try it. Um, the one model that I found the best, let's say, the most balanced reviews about um, price and um, performance wise was the um, the Vortex so uh, <laughs> this happens to be a Vortex uh, UE or UH1 site and this is the Vortex I think it's called VMX3 or something like that magnifier um, this is the uh, the setup I have right now as I said before I am not a hundred percent positive on the uh, the rail placement here I'm still considering uh, this is
Yeah, I'm still considering um, moving the whole thing forward a little bit, but it's just it's just I mean this is all talking about a one one uh, Picatinny slot or, or, or back or forth. Um, so the idea is, yeah, it's called the VMX T three T here. You can see, it. yeah, okay. So talking about magnifiers, um, I found another review because I've got another one of these um, black rifles here and I was thinking, well, I could use two magnifiers. I don't want to be swapping them all the time. Maybe just try another one and see what other companies have to offer so I can kind of judge the performance of the Vortex a bit better. And there is a German company called Falke and um, I'm pretty sure their product isn't um, available on the US market. But I did find a, a review on a German site uh, about this uh, magnifier and they got me pretty curious because they uh, had very good things to say about this magnifier, um, about the, the optical properties of this magnifier and um, I got very curious. Thing is, the Vortex 3x magnifier it comes with a price tag of about 200 euros. There's currently a seller that sells them at around 200 euros which is I think it's a good price. Um, the Falke one, I think I got it for 350. So it's almost two times the price. So I got it from a seller on eBay. Shipping went well. Problem is, the box came like this. So it was it was open. I, I didn't open it. <laughs> it was clearly opened before. So I unboxed it. I mean, this is all just, re this is mostly just regarding the seller on eBay. Uh, but that kind of kind of already set the, the tone for me a little bit. Okay, so here's the magnifier. Um, yeah, and it had like, uh, if you can see it, there was a bit of, it was, someone's clearly been looking through this magnifier very closely. Okay, so yeah, um, but I mean, if the, mag if the performance is good and if I like the magnifier, I wanted to keep it. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give it a shot. One of the uh, characteristics of this magnifier that has been especially um, um, like well considered in the other review, that has been especially um, praised in the other review, was that there, this one has a much higher eye relief than all the other models. Other models meaning um, the, the, the super expensive stuff like the EOTAG and Aimpoint magnifiers, which I would consider the like let's say um, top class magnifiers whereas these two um, are like upper middle class and like price wise price wise I'm just talking about price here this one I, I would say the Vortex is like the definition of a mid class three times magnifier whereas the Falke price wise at almost one and a half times the price um, for me is something it's got to be something uh, like a good step up from the from the Vortex I mean I can almost get two Vortexes for that price um, yeah, so for the Vortex, I already got this little this little protective flap here. It's a shame they didn't ship it with some kind of nice protective thingy. Um, the Falke di didn't come with anything similar. It came with a little rubber jacket. I didn't even bother to unbox it. If you look at the if you look at the um, the mechanism, the flip mechanism, you can clearly tell. Oh my God. The vortex flip mechanism is so much better. <laughs> this is just, it's just a, it's just a spring. Like you push it over and it snaps in here. Like that's all there is to it. You just pull it. It's, uh, it's not even, it's not even very smooth. You can probably hear that. And that's, that's all there is to it. Okay. And now let's put it on and you're going to see where the problem starts. I'm gonna flip it over and then and put it on. First thing that bothered me, like, okay, there's a little riser in here to, to move it up a little bit, but don't bother about the riser. I mean, that's that's the least problem of this thing. Uh, you can put in a riser and put it on the, on the right uh, co-witness height, whatever. Um, first of all, the the mount 
it just doesn't work with the with the buttons of my um, of my Razer UH1 uh, holographic sight. So this doesn't work. Um, I no, let's give this put, make this a little tighter. <laughs> wow. Okay, so pulling it back, flipping it over. Now I can access the buttons. Okay, that's fine. But still, this is not a good placement. You can see here, there is a bit of offset between the placement and the front of the lens. So you can access buttons that are potentially in front of this thingy. Um, in this case, if you want to use this side, do not. Like, th there, this is already clear point. Don't get this magnifier because it is going to obstruct the um, the settings for your uh, for your side you, you, you really you 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 can't really get in there okay um yeah otherwise i mean it does look good you can um you can change the focus here can you oh yeah you can change the focus here <laughs> but you need you need a real good grip um and yeah, the next, the next nice thing is, um, for me as a left-handed, as a lefty. Um, okay, well, I I haven't tried flipping the the um, the mount. Maybe you can flip the mount. Maybe you can't. I don't know. Let's talk about the actual issue of this thing, and this is the eye relief. I don't think they've been thinking this one through because. To me, this looks like a very common setup for a rifle. You've got a you've got a holographic or a red dot sight, and f behind it, like between this this sight and your face, like um, your, your 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 face when you while you're aiming, you want to put this optional flip up sight, and you don't want to move your holographic or red dot sight too far away from your face. Because once you flip this over, you want to be looking straight through your um, through your hollow side. Adding eye relief to such a three times magnifier j simply means that I'd have to move this whole construction further down my Picatinny rail because there is like about this much eye relief on on here. Let me try it. Yeah, there's easily this much eye relief here, whereas uh, with the Vortex... There's about this much eye relief. So this pretty much means, using this magnifier, I don't only add this much um, distance between my eye and the hollow side, I'd have to add like this much more distance. I, I pretty much have to move the whole construction to the end of my uh, receiver Picatinny rail in order to get my my face into the same position um, that I could put it with this magnifier. So the moment I realized that <laughs> the uh, this magnifier was pretty much useless to me because it is absolutely not usable for the scenario that I want, because I want a scenario where I can flip the, the magnifier over and just use the hollow side without magnification. If I want a side with a like pretty much permanent magnification, I'm gonna get a, a low magnification uh, adjustable uh, side. Uh, you can get these um, one to six times or one to eight times um, sides um, for well, about the price of these two items combined, like th these two together. I got this one imported from the US. It was quite a hassle and I had to pick it up from customs. I got this one for around about 500 euros, I would say. And this one, 350 euros. Together, you're close to 900 euros. 900 euros is going to give you a very nice um, integral um, site that, um, that is going to combine everything together. Um, if you want to have the the option to flip this one over, uh, like if you want to say I want to work without magnification uh, and flip this over and still have a, a great holo sight in front of me, um, this one's useless. Like th this, ma the, the the Falcon magnifier is useless because it adds so much eye relief here that it is gonna put 
your uh, your hollow side just too far away from your face. I'm uh, I I gotta be honest. I didn't think this through, um, and I was surprised um, how obvious it became to me once I put this on. And um, like normally, I wouldn't make a big video out of this, but this was something that I just didn't realize before, and there was uh, there wasn't really mentioned in the video reviews I saw of this Falke uh, magnifier, even though there were some hands-on guys. I mean, they, they were running around a um, a shooting cinema and shooting at the um, uh, like I don't know, Ipsic targets or something like that. Um, so um, they were using the the this magnifier hands-on. And um, they were only mentioning issues with the uh, with the flip um, with this flip joint flip mount construction. Um, yeah, but the whole eye relief thing, I think this it is not an advantage, and I think there is a good reason why Aimpoint and EOTech and Vortex are using very short eye relief three times magnifiers because you want the three times magnifier construction to add as little room between you and the actual hollow or red dot side as possible because once you flip it out of the way you are just going to be annoyed that your hollow side is so far away from you yeah i hope you understood my my point um it's a shame like um <laughs> um i would i would have returned the falke anyway like the the um Consumer laws in Germany allow me to, like in Europe, there's a very consumer friendly um, laws on returns for online orders. But um, I gotta say, I like usually I have a, <laughs> I order a lot of stuff and I, I most keep a lot of most of it. So this is really not, it's not part of my um, business. But I gotta say, like I don't even have a bad conscience about this. Because the seller was clearly sending me an item that was not new. Like, uh, it was sold as new. It was clearly um, returned by another buyer. So, yeah, there, there we go again. Yep. I'm gonna put the... The Vortex back on. Yeah. And maybe just a, a quick look at the vortex. Very nice side. I had to get this flip up side here. I think this one cost me another 20 euros. <laughs> it was just some. Oh, it's actually the flip up side is actually a vortex. <laughs> but I had to kind of squeeze it over. I don't know. So um, it's got a very nice flip mechanism. You just push this one in. It feels very solid, very um, high quality. You flip it over. And if you want to have it back, you flip it back. Um, it's um, I'm a lefty, so um, this one works perfectly fine for left-handers. You can just flip the mount, and uh, <laughs> a little added benefit: a couple of right-handers were complaining that they had to, like, the little benefit is as a left-hander you have to push it, as a right-hander you have to pull it. So, <laughs> yeah, there you go. If you flip this one over for right-hand usage, I think yeah, you're pretty sure you have to pull it. As a lefty, you can just push it. Pretty nice. I can access the buttons well. I can even access the the other button from here, so uh, works really well with the Vortex. Um, on my other AR, like on my AR15 um, Hecklon Koch, the MR um, MR223, I am using this one with a. Uh, I'm using this one with a um, Holo Sun uh, Holo Sun tube side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys. Hopefully, I'm, I'll be able to take some film, uh, like some video clips at the range, showing you this one in action. Um, very happy with the results so far. Uh, not, not really sub MOA yet. Hopefully, I can um, get a little more practice. And um, yeah, I'm still surprised that with this, with this side. And this magnifier at a hundred meters, I'm about, I am able to shoot about groups this this big, like five shot groups this size, and uh, that's actually more than I was expecting with a three uh, with a um, three times scope and a 13 inch barrel. But yeah, seems to be working well. Thanks very much for watching.